Item number SCP ES 061. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP ES 061 is to be kept in a safe deposit box in the storage facility for valuable artifacts at Site 38. Access and experimentation with SCP ES 061 requires authorization from Dr. M. Ozawa. Description SCP ES 061 is a Brand VCR player manufactured in 1992. Examination of SCP ES 061 has revealed no anomalous materials. Each one of its components is common for an electrical appliance of its model, brand, and age of manufacture. SCP ES 061 has maintained its anomalous properties even after being disassembled and reassembled on multiple occasions. Using components of SCP ES 061's replacements of similar VCRs of the same period and brand has not resulted in the manifestation of anomalous effects in said devices. SCP ES 061 was discovered in Chile in April of 2000 by a Foundation agent investigating the presence of SCP in the area. After a local radio made the existence of the VCR player and its anomalous properties known, which made the use of amnestics impossible given the high number of people with knowledge of SCP ES 061, the agent carried out an operation in which he extracted the VCR player, property of a local family, and replaced it with one of the same period, brand, and similar characteristics. The operation was a success, and the existence of the anomalous VCR was falsely exposed as a fraud with the actual SCP ES-061 in the Foundation's custody. In most cases, when a VHS tape is introduced into SCP ES-061, especially if it is a movie or television series, the video display will show clear alterations in comparison to the original, which can range from dialogue to notable changes in the plot, cast, or even genre. Further investigation has revealed that changes often correspond to previous options in script cast or setting that were discarded during the production of the film by directors or producers. The movies and series and tapes used in experiments with SCP-ES-061 do not appear to show any alterations when introduced in non-anomalous VCRs. Experiment Reports Involving SCP-ES-061 Experiment SCP-ES-061-1 Introduced Tape The Movie Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark SCP ES 061 plays the movie Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, featuring Burt Reynolds. Experiment SCP ES 061 2 Introduce Tape The Movie Nosferatu, 1922 by F. W. Murnau. SCP ES 061 plays the movie Dracula by F. W. Murnau. Note. The director, F. W. Murnau, intended to adapt the novel Dracula as a film, but being unable to purchase the rights, he instead decided to make Nosferatu, which was his own version of the story but with several names changed, such as Count Orlok instead of Count Dracula. Experiment SCP ES 061 5 Introduced Tape Episode of the television series Kung Fu, featuring David Carradine. SCP ES 061 plays Episode of the television series Kung Fu featuring Bruce Lee. Experiment SCP 061 7 Introduced Tape The Movie Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back. SCP ES 061 plays the same movie but with Han Solo being interpreted by Billy D. Williams and Lando Carrissian by Carl Weathers. In addition, all insinuations about the romance between Han Solo and the Princess Leia appear to have been removed. The 70s, Dr. M. Ozawa. Experiment SCP ES 06110. Introduce Tape. Episode from the 1969 television series Doctor Who, featuring the second Doctor. SCP ES 061 plays. Episode from the 1972 television series Inspector Space Time, featuring the fifth Inspector. Experiment SCP ES 06111. Introduce Tape. The Movie Star Wars Episode 4 New Hope. SCP ES 061 plays The Movie Star Wars The New Knights, narrating the rescue attempt of the Princess Amidala by Luke Starkiller, along with the Elder Jedi Knight Mace Vindu and the mercenary Han Solo, an alien covered in fur with a head similar to a bat. The antagonist is the Emperor Moff Tarkin, interpreted by Vincent Price. Still better than the prequels, Dr. Von Braun. Experiment SCP-06115 Introduce Tape 
documentary about the Cold War, with special emphasis on the Cuban Missile Crisis. SCP ES 061 plays. Experiment SCP ES 061 16. Introduce tape. Documentary about Nelson Mandela's presidential campaign in the year 1994 until his inauguration as the first black president of South Africa. SCP ES 061 plays. Documentary about Nelson Mandela's presidential campaign during the years 1990 and 1991 until and the following racial riots, which created a civil war across all of South Africa. Wow. That was like the erotic fantasy of a Ku Klux Klan member. In a way, the logical conclusion of the apartheid policy, without someone like Mandela willing to trade justice for certain crimes in exchange for peace. Dr. Experiment SCP ES 0620 Introduce tape. Pornographic film featuring two men and two women, each one of them being a white race. SCP ES 061 plays No Apparent Change. Experiment SCP ES 0621 Introduce tape. Pornographic film featuring seven African American men and a Caucasian woman. SCP ES 061 plays No Apparent Change. I'm a born again Christian who has to deal with satanic abominations on a daily basis. Is it really necessary to perform these kind of experiments with these kind of movies, Doctor? One can learn very interesting things from these experiments. Dr. M. Ozawa. Experiment ES-06125 Introduce tape. Pornographic film featuring three Caucasian men and an Asian woman. SCP ES-061 plays. Pornographic film featuring four Caucasian men, or at least individuals who originally were men. In addition, the genre has changed from heterosexual to what is known in pornography as shemale. I'm done. I quit. I mean, I refuse to keep on witnessing this kind of bullshit. Doctor. It is recommended to Doctor to act professionally and to remember his vow of allegiance and obedience to the Foundation. On the other hand, considering the futility of these experiments, it is now prohibited to use SCP ES 061 to see pornographic material. No, Dr. Von Braun, do not insist. O5 Experiment SCP ES 06130 Introduce Tape English Documentary About the Punic Wars the series of conflicts between Rome and Carthage. SCP ES 061 plays an apparent historical documentary in a language with Semitic characteristics not yet translated, with all the text written in the Latin alphabet converted into an alphabet believed to be derived from Phoenician. Judging by the images, the documentary appears to depict an alternative history where Carthage won and Rome was destroyed. Experiment SCP ES 06131 Introduce Tape. Documentary about human evolution, with special emphasis on other hominid species previous and contemporaneous to Homo sapiens, like Homo neanderthalensis or Homo erectus. SCP ES 061 plays. Note, from now on, all experiments with SCP ES 061 involving historical documentaries are suspended until further notice. It is now being discussed whether or not to extend this measure to all movies based on historical events. O5. Addendum Document ES 061B Extended Test Log Experiment SCP ES 06133 Introduce Tape First episode of the HBO series Game of Thrones. SCP ES 061 plays First episode of the series The Black Company, based on the novels by Glenn Cook, with Pedro Pascal as Raven, Danny Glover as One Eye, and Sean Bean as Croker. Experiment SCP ES 06134 Introduce Tape Dr. No First James Bond Movie SCP ES 061 Plays Casino Royale, a television miniseries of two episodes. The plot combines elements from the spy genre with absurd humor, sometimes of a very childish nature. The protagonist is Jamie Bond, a middle aged female agent of MI6 with an alcoholism problem. Experiment SCP ES 06137 Introduce Tape Star Wars A New Hope. SCP ES 061 plays Star Wars A New Hope. The plot is almost identical to the original, with the main difference being in the characters. The protagonist is Luca Starkiller, a 16 year old orphan who has grown up alone in the desert planet of Tau Tauween, who becomes romantically involved with the smuggler Han Solo, interpreted by Billy D. Williams. 
Suddenly, Episode 7 seems even less original. Dr. M. Ozawa Experiment SCP ES 0-6139 Tape introduced, Pretty Woman SCP ES 0-61 plays 3000 A much darker and depressing movie than the original, scripted by J.F. Lawton. The character interpreted by Julia Roberts, Vivian Ward, is a prostitute with a bad attitude and addicted to crack who is hired for $2,000 for a whole week by Edward Lewis, interpreted by Richard Gere, an ill-humored millionaire afflicted by cirrhosis. A price which ends up rising to $3,000 after prohibiting Vivian after smoking crack while she is his escort. The movie ends with Edward pushing Vivian, who was in love with the millionaire, out of his limousine along with throwing her to $3,000. Note, the trailer previous to the movie indicates that Julia Roberts won the Oscar to Best Actress in 1990 for her role as Vivian Ward in 3000. Experiment SCP ES 06141 Introduce Tape Back to the Future SCP ES 061 plays Spaceman from Pluto, a movie with a more serious tone in which Marty McFly, interpreted by Eric Stoltz, uses a time machine with an appearance similar to a fridge and designed by the professor Emmett L. Brown, Christopher Lloyd, to travel from 1982 to 1952. There, like in the original film, he has to make sure that his father fall in love to maintain his future existence. The movie ends with Marty going back to his time in an epic scene involving Nevada's nuclear testing and the help of a young professor to end up discovering that his father is now a famous boxer. I still prefer the original film, but I gotta admit that changing the dog for the sympathetic chimpanzee named Shimp was a total hit. I love chimps. Experiment SCP ES 06142 Introduce Tape Lolita 1997 featuring Jimmy Irons and Dominique Swain. SCP ES-061 plays Lolita 1994 featuring Jeremy Irons and Natalie Portman. This version appears to be set in a society where incest is legal and morally accepted, although there are limitations. The main conflict has to do with the fact that Dolores Hayes, Lolita, is only 12 years old, while father-daughter incest is only legal past the age of 15. It is a romantic comedy. Experiment SCP ES 06143 Introduce Tape La Cholita Condenada Por de Vicuna 2012 Featuring the Mochaca family SCP ES 061 plays the exact same movie without any kind of change or alteration. I bet this movie couldn't get any worse, and I was right. Dr. Von Braun Experiment SCP ES 06145 Introduce Tape Episode from the comedy show Wayne Avitos originally filmed in 2000 and copied from a DVD compilation titled The Best from Wayne Avitos. SCP ES-061 plays No Changes Upon closer inspection, the credits from the start end of the comedy sketches mention Mariana Duque instead of the actual member of the cast, Maria Antonetta Duque, both actresses of twin sisters, and although the sketches are identical, their order varies slightly compared to the original. The clothing does not match those from the original film or any previously recorded episodes. Experiment SCP ES-06148 Introduce Tape Episode from the Mexican telenovela Not a Personal, originally aired in 1997, featuring Christiane Gout as Camila de la Reyes and Jose Angel Lamas as Luis Mario. SCP ES-061 plays an identical version of the episode, with the only difference being that the role of Camilla is interpreted by Anna Cochero. It is to be noted that Miss Cochero was the original performer of the role, but was replaced in the middle of production because of conflict between the actors and the producer company. Experiment SCP ES-06149 Introduce Tape Episode from the Mexican telenovela Maria de la Barrio, aired in 1996. SCP ES-061 plays a virtually identical version of the episode, except that the roles of Maria Hernandez and Soria Montenegro, originally played respectively by Thalia and Etati Cantaro, have been switched. Say what you want, but seeing Thalia playing the Madita Lisiada scene was absolutely hilarious, Doctor. Experiment SCP ES 06150 Introduce Tape Episode from the Venezuela telenovela Por Esta Calles, with an ensemble cast featuring Maria Alejandra Marti originally aired in 1992, recorded from the original transmission with advertisements included.
SCP ES-061 plays a completely different telenovela titled Eva Marina, featuring Maria Alejandra Marti and Flavio Cabarello. Despite the plot having a more traditional tone, it does share some plot points, mainly that the protagonist, Eva Marina Marty, escapes using a secret identity after being accused of a crime she did not commit, and the presence of a character named Dr. Romero, interpreted by Roberto Lamarca, which is very similar to Dr. Valerio from Por Esta Calls, but without his gimmick of the public being able to hear his thoughts. Other actors from the original film also remain in this version playing different roles, with the exception of Lamarca. While the advertising campaigns are identical in order and advertised products to the original, the commercials themselves are different. The episodes are abruptly interrupted by breaking news, in which it is informed to the viewers that which lasts until the end of the recording. Experiment SCP ES-061-51 Introduced Tape The Lion King 1994 SCP ES-061 Reproduce The Lion President a version of the musical in which the vulture Scar and a group of foxes join forces to hinder the political career of Simba, the lion candidate for Africa's presidency, and prevent him from winning the election. It's a clear reflection of today's society. Dr. Lentz